Aston Martin's Lance Stroll did not have a very good 2021 season. He finished 13th in the Drivers' Championship with only 34 points behind his teammate Sebastian Vettel, who finished in 12th. A Lance Stroll, like a lot of other drivers during the 2021 season, had three DNFs. And currently, Aston Martin is in the process it appears of actually trying to develop their own engine, which will, of course, probably still take a couple of years. So with all this being said, will Lance Stroll be able to have a much better 2022 season? Again, this all really depends on where that Aston Martin is going to be. There were high expectations initially before the be uh, beginning of the 2021 season for the Aston Martin team, and they obviously fell way below those expectations. I don't even think they hit any real markers. Uh, Seb started to show more pace in that car towards the end of the season, and I think that was uh, something positive to look forward to too but um, outside of that they had a really tough and uphill 2021 season uh, essentially and they, they struggled quite a bit and they really saw themselves at the lower end of the, of the midfield almost as a, as a back marker so uh, clearly asked Aston Martin and the Strolls uh, that's not obviously their plan that's not where they want to be um, I'm sure it's probably a little bit embarrassing uh, for how they performed, at least internally, and how they felt in regards to where the Racing Point team was, obviously, a year before, and then obviously the changing to Aston Martin, the rebranding and all of that, and the team essentially went very downhill. Uh, so it, it's a lot of question marks to me in regards to Aston Martin. Like, how long is Stroll and his father going to stay with that team? Do they really believe they can make Aston Martin a legitimate uh, constructor's contender and try to win that championship probably within the next next three to five years um i can't see per i personally can't see you know stroll staying around that long as far as five years uh, to get the team its first championship i, I kind of see him more as a guy that if the team is not uh doing much better and providing better results um, greater results i should say within the next two seasons i, I could potentially see him pulling uh, his money and going elsewhere and then aston martin essentially kind of having to find uh, someone new in that regard so I still think as far as their future in that regards, not to say they'll leave Formula One, I don't think that obviously that's going to happen now, but uh, in regards to where they will be in the fight for the Constructors' Championship, it, it really depends on a lot of variables that I don't think we can personally uh, narrow down just yet. Uh, we have to see how they perform this season, most importantly. Again, I don't think Stroll is going to do anything special. It depends. Maybe that Ashton Martin will be much faster this year. Hopefully, that, that would be... Uh, most of what we would want as fans to see that Aston Martin competing, to see Seb uh, back up there getting points finishes, hopefully on a regular, a semi-regular basis. And Stroll, I think, deserves to be up there as well. Um, I think Stroll was Stroll is one of those weird paid drivers that I think was kind of unnecessarily hated, really for no reason. Like he's not a bad guy. He really doesn't have any beef or any problems with any of the other drivers on the grid for the most part. So the hate that he kind of received initially in the beginning of his Formula One career, I think, was kind of unwarranted. I think. He's definitely shown over the years that under the right machinery, uh, he definitely has the pace uh, to be very quick. So it's not like he's not a quick driver. But obviously, in last year's Aston Martin, he was not able to produce um, very good results. So 2022 season, uh, again, unless that Aston Martin is much faster than what it was last year, I, again, still don't really see Stroll making that big of an impact. If anything, I actually see Seb outperforming Stroll, similar to Fernando Alonso and Esteban Ocon uh, with the Alpine team. I see the old heads actually uh, having a little bit more of an edge and an advantage going into this 2022 season, and I see them performing much better based off of the fact that both Fernando and Seb finished above their younger teammates in the driver's championship for the 2021 season. I expect pretty much the same here for Aston Martin. And I'm hoping that they can go from being essentially a low midfield backmarker team to competing back in the midfield and hopefully having uh, more points finishes. But we'll have to wait and see. You guys feel free to let me know your thoughts if you would like to do so in the comment section below. We shall take it from there. As always, appreciate the love and support on the channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. And most importantly, hit that like button. It does get this video out to Formula One fans worldwide. Unfortunately, that's all the time I have for you guys today but i will see you all later goodbye